Welcome back. Polycystic ovary syndrome impacts about 10% of women of childbearing age, and only half of that 10% is diagnosed correctly with PCOS. And that could lead to some serious health issues later in life. So joining us with more about PCOS, we've got Dr. Dana Bittner in studio. Always great to see you. Good, Good morning. morning. This Thanks is for being such here. an important topic. It is, because a lot of women that may have PCOS have no idea that they have PCOS. Exactly, but they do know that they're different, right? They're yeah. like, they talk about, my friends can exercise and eat healthy, and, and I do the same, and I can't lose weight, mm -hmm. I gain weight, I've got acne, I've got chin hair, I've got all this stuff, like why? Why is this happening? Yeah, those exterior symptoms, you know, not losing weight, having the extra hair, the acne, is that enough to know that you have PCOS or how can we go and get diagnosed with it? It can be, there are very specific criteria. It has to do with irregular heavy periods, uh, the weight gain, the acne, those symptoms caused by an overload of androgens. So it's a whole group of hormones that are like, I hate to call them male hormones because mm -hmm. we make them as much as uh, guys do, but it's it's that's how we think of them. So it has to do with that, and then it has to do with your metabolic disease. Okay. So we don't need blood work, but it can be helpful. Okay. And is PCOS something that's genetic that you have a good chance of having if you know your mom had it? Very genetic. Because again, it's not necessarily an ovary problem; it's a metabolism problem. Okay. So the ovary effect, heavy periods, infertility. Those are all a result of the, the, metabol the metabolism issues. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a symptom of what's going on. Is it something that uh, you can realize you have when you're younger, or do women mostly find out when they're trying to begin their families? So it can happen pretty young, but it's often triggered by, let's say, the freshman 15 at college. You know, oh, some okay. girls go off to college, mm -hmm. they gain that freshman 15, and then they lose in the next couple of years, no big deal. But yeah. for those women who have PCOS, they gain that initial weight and then you know, they gain more weight and it just becomes more of an yeah, issue. and harder to get off. Uh, so how can we treat PCOS? So PCOS is treated, first of all, by a foundation of healthy lifestyle. It's number one, it's muscle mass. It's gaining mm -hmm. that muscle mass. It's eating high protein, high fiber, keeping those blood sugars down. Mm -hmm. um, but then for some women, that's not enough. They're doing all that and nothing's changing. So mm -hmm. then we get into the medications. So it's about um, obviously identifying, but then it's using perhaps medications to mm -hmm. treat the underlying metabolic disease, sure. which then everything else Okay. I've heard of maybe using metformin, but I know there's more. There are more tools in the toolbox right. than that. So metformin is an old drug. It's a safe drug. It works really well, but mm -hmm. for some women, it's just not strong enough, or we're not going to get the effect fast enough mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about Jane. But um, the new medications like Wagovi, the new GLP ones, the obesity medicine drugs, they work really well for the metabolic disease that causes okay. PCO. So another use for those those shots. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. So exciting. how does this apply to Jane? So Jane came to us about a year ago. So it's an exciting story. She was 33, and she was doing everything she knew she could do. She mm -hmm. was exercising, strength training, eating healthy. Um, she did have cravings that were really difficult, but she was doing everything right. Mm -hmm. And still her periods were irregular, they were really heavy. Um, she had acne, she had weight gain, she carried all her weight in her belly. Mm -hmm. um, and she was 33 and she's like, I really want to meet someone, but she had poor self-image and mm -hmm. didn't want to date. And so she came to see us and we really got a handle of her metabolic issues. She chose to go on Wagovi and uh, now a year later, she uh, has lost 60 pounds. Wow. Like her efforts are working, mm -hmm. her acne is gone, her blood sugars are normal. So all her metabolic disease has turned around. And about four months ago, she started dating someone and her periods are now regular and light and you That's know, great. it looks like she'll be in a really good place to have what she wants. Yeah. So it's very exciting. Because this condition, it sounds like, can really affect self-esteem. So good to know that there's help out there. What is your takeaway tip? Takeaway tip is if you have these issues, get help. Don't mm -hmm. ignore them. Don't think it's your fault. Yeah. Don't think you didn't do enough or, you know, history does not have to repeat itself from what you might have seen your, your parents go through. So okay. get help and... It's good information, I know. September is PCOS Awareness Month, so we've got a head start on it. Thanks yes. so much, Dr. Thank Bittner. Appreciate it.